good YouTube? I'm Dan Lamar. Today we're gonna be smoking some ribs out on the Pit Boss tailgater. I'm gonna be putting my own rib together. So uh, let's get this started for you. Kind of go a little heavy on the paprika. Just a little bit of that. Chili powder. Now, optional is uh, ground mustard or ground ginger. We're doing three different racks of St. Louis style ribs, so I'll add something special on each of them. This on the rack. You see the color on it? Here we got our three racks of St. Louis ribs. Let's see, we might do a little trimming, we might not, but we are gonna remove the membrane so let's get started on that all right that's how you take it off in one good swoop right there all the other ones they got fast forwarded and edited out <laughs> all right now see now that the membrane is off this rub is going to be able to penetrate through this meat and we can't trim this up a little bit if you want try to get some excess fat off this little piece hanging right here all right, so we're gonna make a binder. Just use some yellow mustard. This is actually from some nice homemade honey. Homemade, huh? Uh, it's from a family farm out in Montana. But look at that honey. Fresh off the family farm in Montana. Don't that look amazing right there? Let's taste All right, so let's taste that honey. That must be good. Mm. It's like fresh from the fucking honeycomb right there. <laughs> Alright, so we got the binder on there. Got our rub right here. Lay some salt down on these two. Be real liberal. That's your seasoning. All right, so we're gonna actually going to make some potato salad with these um with these ribs. So to start off, so we're gonna start off with five eggs. We're gonna skin some potatoes and uh. All right, so we're gonna open these potatoes up and start skin. What's your first potato salad? Like? A little bit of movie magic. These um potatoes are all chopped up. Now we're gonna drop them in the uh. <laughs> drop them in. Boil them. All right, boil them until you get sick of fork them on. Season the other side of these ribs. All right, so it's been three hours and we are going to uh, wrap these ribs. They have a nice mahogany color on them. All right, to start off, we're gonna be using some of this. Look at that real honey right there. Man, you can't get that at the store. Look at the texture on that. You know these bees were happy when they made this. It's gonna render down to a nice glaze. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some more of my rub on there. Do the same thing for the top. But just adding a little apple juice. Now we're gonna double wrap these, but after that we're gonna take them back out on the pit boss tailgater for about an hour. 
All right, so it's been four hours. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. Actually, when I went out there to check on them after I wrapped them, the uh, pit boss tailgater was out. So the salad came out looking real good. I'm gonna give that a try. Ribs are done, so we're gonna cut into one of these ribs. So that was the uh, first time the pit boss died out on me. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh yeah. These look amazing now. So after a long cook, the ribs are all done. I'm not gonna apply any sauce to them, but uh, I'm off in the oven because the pit boss died out on me. So, I look at all these juices. Wow. I'm actually gonna save that. Drizzle it over the potato salad. Nice big bite. Flavor is like a little spicy at the end. A whole lot of sweetness. You really taste that. That uh that good honey. Look at the color you get from that. Mm. Good potato salad. Mm. I'm gonna dip it in some of that sauce right there. Oh yeah. Even with the pit balls dying out of them, I'm gonna finish them in the oven. Those are the best ribs I've made. Have a real candy texture. A little hot, a little savory, a little sweet. So that turned out amazing. These bad boys. Look at that pullback. Man, I'm almost thinking about giving up the pellet smokers and going up. Getting a stick burner or something, they keep dying on me. But if you guys enjoyed that cook, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I got a lot more videos on the way. So, I'll see you guys on the next video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that.